Okay, can you guys hear and see me now? No. That satellite has to have an impact smart hard drive. The all new Toshiba satellite series. We thought of everything. Uh Okay, good. Uh Okay, good. Uh Okay, good. Yeah, that was me checking the Oh, disrespecting. You earn a cookie from me. Here's I'm going to give you your cookie. Hold on a sec, guys. You're going to want this cookie. If I can just remember how to um come on. I know I know I can. Oh yes, yeah, like this and like this this this. Then like this, then like this, then like this. And like uh, this, do do this. Okay, sorry that sorry that guys, I just had to do that for him because he earned it. He earned a Kirby cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Legends of Yore. And we are going to stream Legends of Yore. Like I told you. Can you hear me and see me and everything? And cr holy crap, this... Oh, this window's good. Okay, good. Um, yep, okay, it's fine. Good, everybody can see me and hear me and everything. Uh, no. Uh, anyways. Yeah, first I gotta go back and log in. And, okay, okay. Uh, close this out. Don't need that open. Okay, so guys, Legends of Yore, and I'm going to try and go back into my freaking archer again. No, I do not want to go up the stupid stairs, you stupid old man. Okay, um, I'm not too good with archers. I only just started, and there's something I actually just learned. You see these torches? You know how it's, you know how they say sometimes it's just a torch? Well, I actually just found out a, sh a while ago that they can actually drop items sometimes. Anyways, yeah, right here. Yeah, this is my level 8 mage who somehow managed to find a Cloak of Ross this early on. Uh, no, this isn't mage. This is a warrior. Uh, no, this isn't a warrior. This is an archer. Stupid me. Derping it up already. Anyways, yep. <clears throat> I disrespecting. I can tell you right now that the reason why you're having that is because this game can be pretty intense and... God, I really wish that I could. I just had. I just wish that I could have a bit more room. Uh, actually, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Boom. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Just having a little issue with this stupid chat window again. Covering up like part uh, part of the screen and everything. Uh, no, not headshot, but that's a headshot. Uh, don't worry about anything that I'm saying. Uh, it's no, it's nothing. Ah, yes, the monsters that can open doors. And my stupid, stupid me is uh, derping up already because I don't have any zen. And that's not a good thing for archers to have no zen. Stop following me, stupid goblins. And I'm already really low on health. Holy crap, that was fast. No, I did not restart disrespecting. This is my new character that I started a while ago. It's my archer. I still have my level 78 Paladin, so don't worry, I still have that. I just played this character. Oh, holy crap, we got a... Um, guys, this is a very rare drop. I can tell you right now, this is, uh, I think it's a 1 in 600 drop. So, yep, we just got a really rare drop there. And let's see. I know it's for um, Warriors only, though. Level 15 required. So yeah, we're going to be selling that, but it's really good. Uh, it's not, it's 
for mainly for warriors. That's pretty much it. And stop doing stuff like that. And holy crap, we got another rare. Well, it's not that rare of a drop, but it's slightly rare. Er. And it's the feather robes, which are for mages, which we aren't yet. And it requires level 11, so that'll be another good item to sell. Yes, Crystal Wolf, you're going to be hearing me say holy crap a lot as a, um alternative to holy S-H-I-T, if you know what I mean. And I still forgot to do this to... Okay, now I'm going to get the Zen back up. The more Zen you have, the more da the more chance you have of getting critical hits. And when you get attacked by... When you get attacked by a physical attack and you get damaged, you... Well, that's actually... No, that... What the hell? Oh, oh yeah, that's sort of a rare drop. Uh, you, you're able to deal more damage sometimes anyways yeah we're gonna go up here we're gonna shoot this guy shoot this guy shoot this guy and we kill them going here ooh town portal scroll those are actually fairly rare to find from chests and we just shoot him i can't remember why we came into this dungeon this is the mountain dungeon which is the second dungeon you get into or in a third dungeon you have to be level six in order to go out of aria um not ev not everything is rare um, I could tell you right now that these aren't rare. They're uncommon. They're, I think they're like 1 in 25 or 1 in 30 or something like that. Anyways, yeah. Got to get my Zen all the way back up and use some more of those potions and the last apple that I have and go in here and we got a, we got a head, actually we got a headshot there. And then we're just going to go and just normally uh, uh, melee attack the rest of them. Because we can do that. Then we're going to use a blue potion to uh, fully heal my guy. And we got to find where the key is. And yep, Iwan, we are live again. Uh, after the trouble that I was having with the last... That trouble was absolutely brutal. But dis disrespecting gets uh, got a Kirby cookie for fixing it for us and we got another headshot and another headshot and another headshot yay we got three headshots and there's the key that I was looking for but I'm gonna go over here and kill that guy and got get bunch of headshots in a row um Haruhu we, we actually just got like quite a few headshots in a row but none there unfortunately that would have been nice but the headshot is what um, archers can do when they are fully healed not fully healed but fully um, have fully full Zen is what I'm trying to say and I am failing it out and yes um, Kevin um, Kevin glass added the th added a bunch of cool stuff to the game for you know um, to make them oh crap we got our now we got archer uh, no we got Edens these guys are strong uh, actually, yeah, these guys are strong. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get past the... I'm not going to be able to get past this floor at my current level. No, okay, I'm not going to be able to get any further in this dungeon. So I'm just going to go ahead and run. Use the town portal, yes. And go back to town. So, yeah. That didn't turn out too well, but I'm going to go and have him heal my wounds, go down here. And we're going to start selling crap that I don't need, like this, like these rubies. And yep. So this that's pretty much what you do. You go into dungeons, you get loot, you sell it, you get experience and stuff like that. I'm not selling the Cloak of Rod. That's going to be useful later on. I'm going to sell these. And I'm going to sell the Smirk Armor. Because I can't use it. And these Feather Robes for 426 each. And even though I can use this Razor Knife, I won't be able to use it for 14 more levels. So I'm just going to sell it to get the money. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to go into this stash. We're going to go into show bag. And we're going to deposit this. Next on the list is we are actually going to be heading back. We're going to be backtracking a little bit. Back to the starting town, actually, because there's a treasure map there that I want to finish. Because I want to know what it gives. I don't think it gives anything too spectacular, but 
it's the it's not the first treasure map you, it's the one you actually get that I didn't know about in the Aria farm I didn't know you could get one in the Aria farm but apparently you can and yeah I'm, I'm headshot I'm headshotting things all over the place which is awesome and I also need to start collecting these dog pelts because they're used in a uh, quest later on and look at that we are now level 9 plus 7 HP plus 3 Zen so yeah Zen is what archers use, by the way, and... Ah! <laughs> oh, this is epic! The Grave of Kevglass, Fallen Coder, at Coke and Code. Ah! Oh, shameless plug. Oh, that's freaking awesome. That is awesome. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is awesome? Um, dis disrespecting you talking to me? Um, because of this. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen. But this is freaking awesome. I just, uh, nothing that I know of. It just tells you that this is the grave of said user who's a fallen coder. He's a developer of the game, and that's his Twitter. So, yeah. And that what the hell cool so yeah there you go that's really interesting uh, apparently it doesn't really do much it's just sort of a vanity thing I think but it's that was pretty awesome in my opinion I've never had that happen to me so it must be fairly rare and actually there's uh, no I don't think it's e I don't think it's an Easter egg I think it is actually um, something that he plans on adding into the game. And yes, he can train me, uh, which I think he can do at level 9, which I just got. And the thing he just got me was, no, not in Spellbook, in this. It was push. What does that do? Pushes an enemy away two spaces. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm going to add it to my quick bar. Yep, uh, Razia, I have found the Hermits, the one who sells the HP regenerating and uh, other cool stuff. I found him, and I'm tell uh, letting you know right now, this is not my main character. My main character is level 78, so yeah. He knows pretty, uh, I know pretty much everything there is to know about this game, including where, where many of the items drop in this game and other stuff like that. I could pretty much tell you stuff like that. Anyways, now that we have this... I just got to go ahead and organize this a little bit better because, yes, unorganized. <clears throat> uh, yeah, disrespecting, there's uh, quests you can do. There are, um, yeah, there's, uh, you can use spades to dig and stuff like that. You can go treasure hunting with treasure maps and other stuff like that. So, yeah, there's plenty of other stuff you can do, but not... This game is an indie game, remember, and it's under it's under construction. But the main purpose of this game is what you just said. It is to basically run yourself into monsters over and over and over. That's pretty much what the game is. And I came here so I can start head west and north. So I actually think, is this the one up here? Yes, it is. I have already found this map. Yes, this is the one that gives you the gold ring. Right here, this gold ring requires you to be level 73 in order to wield. I've already seen, I, I've already shown you that, shown you it in a different save file, so I'm not going to show you it again. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the only, it's pretty much, that's the first one you get. First pretty rare item you get. Um, I'm not going to be showing, I'm actually not going to be um, playing on my, on this archer for very much longer. In fact, save game. Okay. Quit session, quit load, and here we go. We're gonna start playing my art, my uh, warrior now. So yeah, we're on my warrior now, and where the heck am I? Oh, what? Oh yeah, I'm going down here. So here we guys go. Yep, I'm on my paladin now, and um, a few other updates that I need to make. 
After much searching and training, I finally got this. It took, I spent uh, 500 turquoise potions and 300 orange potions getting this one ring. Because it's freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the ring I wanted to get. I also wanted to get the ring of mop, but I decided one one dungeon drop from the Hidden Cove dungeon was enough for me. It was just too much for me. And my paladin has also learned a whole lot of spells. Yeah, he he learned this spell, which yeah, he learned a whole bunch of spells. So he knows a lot of spells. Right now he currently has Explosion equipped. And I'm in Cyclops um, Valley Dungeon because I'm currently training for... Not, I'm not training here. I'm killing the Hydra down here because I need to kill the Hydra in order to... Kill... In, in order to get his claws so that I can finish the... So that I can... Crap, stupid teleport spell. I hate you, freaking teleport spell. Go back to the chest and it's probably going to teleport me away again. No, but it's going to spike me. Crap, you stupid chest. Hi, Twilight. How are you? And hi, Derpy. How are you? So yeah, I'm back training on my paladin now. Uh, I'm you're not gonna see me heal at all in this entire dungeon because these monsters are incredibly underleveled for my character. I'm only here because I want to kill the Hydra to get his claw to finish a quest, a really low level quest actually that I didn't do back when I was much lower leveled, and I do not did not find the key, so I have to go searching for the stupid key again. Uh-huh. <laughs> la 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 la. Actually, your name change, Derpy Hooves, you actually, I don't see any name change that you did. Actually, now, now I did. Razia. There you go. That's who you're that's who you're moonlighting as now. So anyways, back to my crusader. Giggity giggity goo. Yeah, I suck at that. Axe is much better at giggities than I am. Uh a story of my life. Anyways. Uh yeah, so this is this is gonna be pretty uninteresting because I'm not doing um because I'm not doing much. I'm just going down this dungeon, killing the Hydra, and going back up in order to get um the quest finished. And yeah, these monsters are like no problem for me to kill. I kill them in pretty much one two hits, easy. Ah, that's funny, derp. Anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, he does get a lot of practice, cause, giggity, because of stuff like that, like that, that I just said, because, yeah, practice, practice, giggity, practice, giggity, e yeah. St okay, now you're starting to make me act like Axbane, and I don't like that, because, yeah, I don't want to have to say giggity all the time, like he does. That's a bad thing, in my opinion. You know, you've... Watch too much Axbane when you start saying giggity all the time. And holy crap, you find the Skeleton King in this dungeon. I didn't know that. Huh, so the Skeleton King's actually fairly tough, believe it or not. Well, I just pretty much showed you that he isn't that hard, but uh, for new players he is. He's actually really difficult. I think he's level... I think he's level... 50 so yeah I'm level 78 so of course I can pretty much murder him in one shot but yeah um we're not really gonna be talking about him much I only talked about him because you guys brought him up I only talk about things you guys bring up for God's sake so you guys are the one that's are steering me hi, Z hi Zelena how are you 
Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn move lock off so I can just click on this and have my character move there automatically. Awesome. And I'm going to have him move up here so I can kill that and move up here so that I can start getting hit by stupid mages that I really hate. You'll see why I hate mages really soon. Um, when I, I'm actually not really soon because I'm definitely not going to go to the Thule, to the Thule dungeon. Oh my God, that dungeon is freaking insane. What the floor right before the bot, the ma the final level is nothing but mages. That's the entire floor is just mages, and the mages that they are on that on that floor deal about twenty to thirty damage per hit. So yeah, you can imagine how much damn, especially if there's like five or six of them in one room, they can rack up damage in the um, hundreds every turn and crap stupid teleport trap again. Go back here, teleport me away. Nope, just spring another trap on me. I actually found out that the tel that the it te teleport um spell is actually uh, a bug and NDTM is my accent. When I say room, I mean room, not rum. Room. It j might just sound like rum, but it's room. Okay, so just get that out of your get that out of your head that I am saying room. Okay. Sheesh. People not understanding accents. Nimora, my favorite streamer that doesn't stream. The rum's not gone. I did not steal all the rum. I did not steal all the rum. Stop blaming somebody who actually doesn't drink at all. Believe it or not. Yeah, in real life, I don't drink. Nimora just joined the channel. That's why I said hi to her. Or him. I think it's a her. Nimora, sorry if you're not a her, but I'm pretty sure you are a her. And crap, there's a stupid gate on the stupid... Urgh! Stupid gate on stupid portal is stupid. Um, so yeah, I can't... I can't get to the next floor until I destroy every single freaking enemy on this floor. And I hate that you have to... Okay, well, I just did that. But I hate when you have to do that. And stop flashing, you stupid chat window. Um, just letting you know guys, this stream isn't going to be very long. It's probably only going to be about an hour. That's all I want to stream because I want to get some... I want to get some, um, other stuff recorded for my YouTube. So, yeah. Not going to be streaming for terribly long today. Sorry guys, just not in the mood for streaming for too long. Nimora! No, you're not freaking me out. Uh, I'm good, Zelena. I just want to find the stupid Hydra so I can get out of this stupid low-level dungeon and end this really sad chapter of my life. Arg! I want to find the stairs and I actually still need to find the key too. So, yeah. Or maybe there is no key to this floor. That would be nice. Hi there, Wolfer. How are you? I want this floor to be over. What spoon? I don't know what spoon you're referring to. But I need the stupid key. <laughs> no, I'm not the one. Uh, I'm good too. I'm not that character. I can tell you that much. If I were any character, I'd be Snoopy because I lay around all day and don't do anything. Ah, the genie. Of course, we have to have the genie who is another level 50 monster that you have to kill and wow lots of lots and lots of enemies on this floor holy crap stop spawning all these stupid enemies
Oh my god, so many enemies. Holy crap, what the heck is going on here? Uh, Wolfer, level eight, level 78. And I'm in a really low level dungeon because I'm trying to kill the Hydra so I can finish stuff. Yeah, the guys that shoot spells at you and DTM. Like these guys that carry staffs. Like that one right there that just shot me. And that stupid teleport spell, Arg. Ooh, this one actually drops a Tome of Doom, which is a 1 in 100 drop. There we go, level 79, guys. <clears throat> level 79, yay! Plus 26 HP and plus 26 rage. So yay, we're level 79 now. Thanks to all the grats and everything, guys. Really means a lot. So yeah, this... Guess I reached level 79. Hopefully I'll reach 80 by the end of this stream, although I highly doubt it at the rate I'm going through this stupid dungeon. And apparently I just got another Tome of Doom and a freaking Night Shield, too. Um, yeah, that was the major derp. I'm a Paladin Wolfer. I decided to go for Paladin um, just because I didn't really like the Barbarian, although now in retrospect I kind of wish that I chose the Barbarian because I actually like archers quite a bit better than mages. But, well, oh well, what can you do? I'm actually thinking of starting a second warrior and getting him up to level 50 again. Uh, you, basically using the same strategy I did with this one. I mean, this, it shouldn't take me that long to get him, and then making him a paladin. Of course, I kind of, uh, of course, that would be pretty interesting. I mean, I do the same stuff that I did in this in this run, get the same items and everything. So I probably wouldn't stream that. Just telling you guys. But yeah, God, I am a paladin. Uh, Razia, I am a paladin, okay? Sheesh. Although, oh yeah, explode spell that... Ooh, sweet, I actually killed one with the explode spell. That's new. Never... Oh, what, what I'm talking... I did... Oh, here's the Hydra. Yay! Run into him and kill him. And I have the claw, and I need to bring it to him, and we got a wizard hat, and something else that he dropped that was destroyed because of the stupid destroy, uh, stupid, uh, destroy auto junk that I have on. Crap. Ooh, what? There's, that's the hydro claw, and that's the wizard hat, which is part of, a uh, set. Anyways, uh, yeah, not too stellar of drops. Yes, Derpy Hooves is Razia. But I got the... Qu Actually, I think he teleported me right back to where I need to. No, he didn't. Who, oh, yeah, it's the guy. It's the Gombard guy who sent me on this quest. So, guys, we're heading to Gombard. Yay! One hit. This was the last quest that I had to do for the guy in Gombard. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'm pretty sure I meant... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say... Yeah, whatever to that. I probably screwed it up, but oh well. doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, hey guys. Um, rem remember in the last stream how he, how he um, Kevin, uh, the, the developer said he would make the creepers brighter? More gold? Well, look at that. Wolfer, aren't, isn't that, isn't the golden creeper actually gold now instead of that really, mu it's mu isn't it much more um, noticeable now? I think so. And I requested this. I requested this to be brighter. If you guys remember, in the last stream, I requested this to be brighter, and he actually made it brighter in the 994 patch, which he released today. So yeah, I'm really happy that some something of mine got implemented into the game, even though it was just a suggestion. But still, I'm really happy that he implemented something that I suggested into the game, like he's done with Axbane, you know? So yeah. Me and Xbane are pretty much even in terms of stuff like that now. And I love this quest giver. I love this quest giver, Zhang. He's my favorite quest giver. And what did he give me? Holy crap, he gave me 10,000 gold and this shield, this lion shield, which actually is really good. Holy crap, that's good. 
Oh, Derpy Hooves, I finally know which boss you're talking about. Ba Baba is actually spelled with two B's, B-A-B-B-E-H. There's no David. It is a boss, but it's in the Thule dungeon, which I just told you I'm not going to. He, um, the developer actually recommended that I don't go there until level 80. And I'm not going to go there until probably uh, several levels after 80 because of how hard I, of a time I was having on that dungeon. Oh yeah, I've got the Phoenix Blade finally, and I equipped it. I um, used the Mystic uh, whatever, whatchamacallit on it. I also dug up this fire shield, so yeah, not much, not too much happened while you guys were away. So yeah, uh, we did, however, get just get this lion shield that I'm going to stash. So yeah, that's pretty neat. And uh, welcome back, Nemora. Kev is very diligent. I he's probably one of my favorite developers because he actually acts completely. In the, in the interest of the in the interest of all the people that play the game you know I just he's just really cool actually you want to know what I suggested today I suggested that um you see how you only have one one uh, stash chest and you can see how mine's like getting pretty full. I actually should suggested that you um that you add an option where you can buy a second st uh, stash chest for $2. What do you guys think of that suggestion? Let me know in the in the uh chat. Do you, do you guys think that suggestion's a good one? I think it would be a good good way. I think it would be a good way um for him to earn some money and to um add content to the game at the same time. Another thing that he changed in the new patch, remember how this pirate used to charge 100,000 gold every trip? Now he doesn't. He only charges 100,000 gold the first trip. Now you can use them every single time you want, and he won't charge you for it. That is probably my most favorite update besides the Golden Creeper one. And yes, we're back in this place again because this is the best place to do a bunch of stuff uh, to buy a, to get a bunch of stuff yes as in real dollars taught with and no you shall not stab me now because two dollars isn't that much to be perfectly honest two dollars is like nothing Nimora no you cannot stab me nobody is stabbing me today okay so stop bringing up stabbing one thing I am going to do though is I'm going to make another excursion into the hidden cove because there's one item I want to get that I haven't gotten yet so you guys you guys want you guys want to go back into that crazy dungeon the hidden cove you want me to go back there because I will um, if I'm going to go back in there I'm going to need to prepare uh, quite a, quite heavily because that dungeon is really hard I'm telling you guys right now that dungeon is hard. You want... Okay, guys. So here we go, guys. We're going to go into a dungeon. Uh, turn away if you don't want to see where a hidden, hidden dungeon is right now. Okay, guys? Turn away now if you want to. And um, I'm telling you right now, please turn your name back now. If, if, you don't, if you won't turn your name back, then I'm going to have to get somebody else involved because... Thank you, because I don't find that appropriate for this channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so any everybody who turns away, turn away now. Hidden dungeon revealed. Okay, you can look back now. We're heading into this dungeon again. The hidden dungeon with the randomly generated floors. Well, the randomly generated floors and monsters. This dungeon is a very, very, very... This is... A dungeon that will make you use your potions like crazy. Like I said, you will use your potions like crazy. Because as you can see, my HP bar up here is going down like crazy. Because of all these stupid monsters attacking me. Holy crap, get the F out of my way. You stupid... Holy crap, that one guy almost freaking one-hitted me. God. Uh, 
Arg. You stupid freaking. Uh, yeah, you're going to see that a lot in this dungeon. Uh, me almost dying. Quite a lot in this dungeon. This dungeon is effing hard. And I'm turning, uh, and I'm turning this off, uh, junk loot off. And I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. Thank you. So, yeah. Charlie Brown. Okay. Actually, Charlie Brown, um... Oh, always the thing I know about Charlie Brown is he always used to say good grief a lot. I'm pretty sure he's the one that said good grief all the time. Um if you die you go back to the last save the last save point unless you're playing permadeath. If you're playing permadeath then you lose your character. Like you lose your character completely. You lose everything. However, yeah. Anyways, this floor isn't too bad. It's mainly just these green, these orange guy, orange giant guys, which actually drop a lot of money, and these archers and these fegal archers and fegal um whatever these are, they're just regular fegals. But these purple guys actually hit very hard. They do they deal a lot of damage actually. All the monsters in this dungeon deal a lot of damage, and they make you use a crap ton of potions. Just letting you know, if if you remember how mu how many potions I started at, yeah, that's how many I've used like uh, twenty some potions on this floor already, and I'm not even through the entire floor. But this this is great for experience. This particular uh, monster layout is not good for experience. It's not very good for experience at all. Uh, I mean, not experience, m uh, money. You always want to balance the uh, money thing because, yeah, you want to make sure you come out of this dungeon with more money than, uh, with uh, drops that are worth more than you, than the num amount of potions that you spent by using them in the dungeon. And crap, this stuff, oh god, this is going to be pretty, pretty hairy too. We've got centaurs which are ranged and they're a legend monster we've got these imp mages which are powerful mage attackers and then we got the actual minotaur itself which actually drops decent items so i actually like this the centaurs however since as with all of these guys they they're actually good for um pretty much everything but they're really weak and yeah this is and there's two of them in one room. And they also drop horsehair, which actually sell for, which actually stack and sell for a decent amount of money. So yeah, um, destroy these because they're worthless. Uh, destroy these traps because they're worthless. They only sell for like three gold each. Also, notice I have 193 spades. That's because I love digging stuff up out of the ground. And I've dug up some pretty neat stuff. I hate mages and this is why they deal so much damage to you at a distance and they make you use up way more potions than you need to i hate them especially these ones although they do sometimes drop orange potions to help with the potion usage but they still make me use crap tons of potions i can't shoot them back i don't have a bow i can shoot them back with I can shoot them back with the spell, but my spells won't do crap in tor in t oh s thanks for reminding me I need to go on to I need to join vent and uh join the primary channel so that people know I'm streaming my bad yeah you want to make sure that you uh people know that you're streaming on this channel so I don't get hijacked yeah that would be bad if I got hijacked. Anyways, we already have the key, so I'm just going to skip everything else and go to the next floor because I don't want to deal with anything else. And we got this set up again. Crap. More heavy po potion usage. Get the F away from me. Get the F away from me. You s God freaking damn it. What the heck is ranging me? Oh, my Freaking God, I am really, 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 I am not liking the, this, I do not like this dungeon. I'm telling you that right now. 
This dungeon I do not like. Oh my god. Well, thankfully I found the key relatively fast. I'm telling you my strategy that I'm going to be employing. When I get to uh, floor 5, I'm going to see... I'm going to um, go through the entire floor and kill the, le the, re the legend that you find only at the end of the 5th floor. Then I'm going to go back to the 4th floor and then go back down to the 5th floor and find, that, find the legend again because he'll change until I get the one that I want and then I'll kill the one that I want and hopefully he'll drop the item that I want. The one that I need to kill is the red dragon and the giant, no not the giant scorpion, no yeah the giant scorpion. Giant scorpions drop ring a mot, uh, ring a mot and the red dragon drops the fire sword which is a cool uh, sword that has a cool sounding name which is, wh which is why I've decided to go ahead and get it. Even though it means going back to this hell hole. And yes, this is a freaking hellhole. Um, Wolfert, there are some instances that you will. Um, depending, it just depends upon how many orange potions the enemies give you, number one. And number two, um, how many good drops you get that are worth over like 1,500, 2,000. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm going to lose money on this trip. But on the next trip, I won't. I'm pretty sure I won't. Actually, there won't be a next trip because we are going to be on the fifth floor very, very, very soon. What floor is it? Oh, God. This is a mass mage floor, I think. Uh, we got, yeah, we got, uh, we got these white imps, which actually don't. I don't know why they don't cast the explosion spell, but they don't. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Not this floor. Okay, anything but this floor layout is fine. I do not like this uh, the monster layout. And, oh my god, I hate this monster layout even more. Remember these guys? Remember how hard they were? Well, now you have a floor in which you fight multiples of them at the same time. But, yeah, with that, it's really easy. There, like I said, you're going to be fighting a lot of... I'm actually going to stay on this floor... Because of these guys. Because they will... There's a ton of them. Uh, get rid of you, damn bone. You're not worth anything. And neither are you. Hi, Chuck Explosion. How are you? And this is what I mean. Just look at how many of them there are. And they can break through freaking walls, too. Uh, yeah. This is not a very fun place to be in. But uh, I can get rid of a few of them, two of them right now, and then I'm going to go ahead and heal, and then I'm, I got three of them on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to just attack these two normally until they join up, and then I'm just going to uh, berserk one of them to death, but pretty much do that. So yeah. And we got two rare drops, including a second Crusader Helm, which if you remember, including two more Crusader Helms. Holy crap, that was really epic. Epic drops there, because the Crusader Helms are pretty damn rare. And sorry, 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 I'm going to stop swearing. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to stop swearing. But remember how hard it was for me to find just one of them, and I found three of them pretty easily. As I said, I'm going to stay on this floor. Not not for the experience, but for the drops, because Skeleton Lords, uh, I mean, Skeleton Kings drop quite a bit of a good items. As you've seen, they drop gold rings, which sell for um, like 2,000, actually 4,000, and I'm level 80. So, and yay, we got a whole bunch of them. And we got three more of these guys to deal with. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Berserk, 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 and they're all dead. We got another gold ring, which is another 4,000 some gold. We got... Uh, and not to mention that these guys drop about 700, uh, 600 to 800 gold each anyways. And we got these stupid towers, which I hate because they don't give you any experience and everything. It just sucks. Go into here. We got, an, we got a mage in here. What bag in a bag? Hmm? No, um, no, when um, two monsters uh, die on the same square, they, they drop their items into the same bag. That's, pr that's 
probably what you're thinking of. But I'm hoping there's more skeleton lore, uh, skeleton kings on this floor because I oh, there's one more. There's one right there because I want to get some more. Yep, there's another one right here. However, that cost me a lot of HP because of these stupid mages. Uh, no, you shouldn't be seeing bags and bags because uh, uh, bags that uh, monsters that drop uh, items on the same square. Uh, they the bags combine into a single bag, so I don't know. Uh, you shouldn't see a bag in a bag NDTM. Up here, there's more mages. Oh my God, joy, joy, joy! Mages are my kryptonite in this game. I swear to God, I really hate them. But we're gonna go ahead and kill these two guys, get some more money, and yeah. There's another one, but I'm going to heal first. Then I'm going to go and presume to kicking his butt. And then we're going to go up here and find some more of these guys and get some more money. Um, Probably, but I'm going to head back to the fifth floor again. Hopefully I have a... F oh, the same layout. We have the same layout. So I'm kind of happy because we're actually going to get decent experience and we're going to get great drops from the Skeleton Kings. Um, in terms of money and in terms of drops like this. We got another Crusader Helm and a bunch more money. And up here, more stuff. And let's see, I'm getting pretty close to full. Uh, doors actually, um, <clears throat> this isn't pointless. The Skeleton King actually destroyed the wall here, 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 here. Every single time you see one of these is a wall that was destroyed by a a skeleton king so yeah but yeah it's kind of funny i've uh if it, it's actually really funny that you can bypass uh, golden doors if you um lure the skeleton king into the walls nearby them and you can completely bypass them it's it's fun doing that by bre uh, breaking the dungeon level by doing that though it's pretty fun and i said that like that's the third time i said that but it's just so much fun to do to, to um lure them into doing that Anyways, pointless room is pointless, and pointless mage is pointless. That just died. A horrible, horrible death for being a mage. And we got two more skeleton kings in here. With another crusader helm. What the hell is with all the stupid crusader helms? Not, uh, you see, I get them when I actually don't need them. I start getting these when I don't need them. What the hell? It, if you guys don't know what I'm uh, what I'm meaning by that, it's a reference to my last. Um, no, it's it's a reference to my last Legends of Your um, la, uh, two no last one, no two ones two of them ago. Uh, it took it. I had to kill literally like fifty like fifty of these guys before they dropped a single Crusader helm. It was ridiculous. In my opinion, it was, anyway. And there's the key, so we can just go on to the next floor, which I'm going to do. We are on the fifth floor, which means the random... Oh, we got some... Uh, okay, this is a Minotaur, Minotaur floor. And giant mass, giant massive enemy floor, apparently. Holy crap, tons of enemies. Yeah, this happens a lot, too. Especially in wide open floors like this. Can't wait to see all the drops from this. This is going to be epic. Yeah, this happens a lot. Uh, kill that one, kill that one. We get a bunch of money. Destroy that because the leather is worth absolutely zip. Just kill that one. Get a town portal scroll. Get that, 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 and that. Destroy that because that it doesn't sell for very much. Get everything here. Get that. I listen, NDTM. What what do you mean, um, Wolfert? Well, we got Crusader gloves too, so yeah. Wolfert, what do you mean by that? Did you try playing as an archer or something? Lunar Lumina! Hi! <clears throat> Come on, stop it. Oh my god, you're making me use so many potions. I'm starting to not like you guys even more than I did. 
Um, yeah, archers. Um, tack on about level. Tack on about 20 levels to the recommended level for warriors. Archers are much, much harder to. They're mu oh, and we got this guy, which is one of the ones I needed to get because he drops the ring of Mott, which I wanted to get. And in addition to the Ka ring of Kami, and I didn't get it. We didn't get anything. So crap. So what? Do you know how we um? You know how we remedy this? We go up the stairs and then down the stairs, and we can rebattle a different, le a, d a different coves only uh, legend you can only find in the coves in uh, on floor five again. So we're gonna re rebattle through floor five with different monsters. This time it's gonna be archers and mages, pretty much. Which are a pretty deadly combination because they can deal quite a bit of damage to your guy if you're not careful. And they can kill your guy very fast if you're not careful too. But yeah, we're, st we're actually starting to get a pretty decent amount of uh, red uh, or of the orange potions that I'm using back. And my backpack is full, finally. So I can finally summon a town portal. Back and no. Derp, derp, face palm, face palm. Don't go right back into a stupid portal when you... Duh. Uh, anyways, we go ahead and we sell the stuff that we... Um, just to let you know how much how much money I gained just from the gold I picked up. N uh, Muffin Maddox, my name is Razor Flame Kun, and I am streaming Legends of Yore. We picked up... Over, uh, we picked up sixty-seven thousand gold just in, just in um gold drops, not item drops. The item drops will get us even more. So yeah, it's that good. These don't sell for hardly anything, and these don't even know why they're in my inventory, and don't know why these are any are in my inventory either. Uh, anyways, we as you can see, we have five freaking helms, uh, crusader helms. Oh my freaking god! What the hell? Why do I have to get all of these when I don't, when I'm not looking for them? Okay, we got some elven boats will sell for two thousand each. We got thirteen of these will sell for fifteen hundred each. Oh my effing god! They only sell for five hundred and fifty-one each. What the hell? While the gloves sell for two thousand six hundred. I don't understand this game sometimes, but now is the moment of truth, guys. We now need to rebuy potions. So I need to buy 29 of these to make up for the ones that I used. And we need to buy... Oh, crap. I just bought the wrong potion. Yay, me. I noticed that, Wolford, just after I bought them. Uh, let me see. How much were those gold potions each? I want to know how much were those gold potions each. Oh, only 270. Okay, not as bad as I thought. So that's good. Gonna buy. Need to buy 60 of these. So we have 600, and I need to buy 29 of these. So that we can um, restock on potions. Let's see how much money we have after that. Um, we actually gained money. We started that uh, dungeon at 115,000 gold. We're at 162,000 gold. So, yeah, we are up 47,000 total, or 44,000 total. Even though it's lower than the amount I had uh, pre-buying potions, it's still a gain, net gain. Going back down, and there's a bag. And these towers, which I hate. And I'm going to go ahead and wait here for my charge to get fully charged up, I said. Thank you. And we're now here. Use that. <clears throat> Use it again. See, it, it hardly does any damage, so I just don't even bother um, using spells when I can just, you know, I might use a spell there, though. Uh, apparently not. Apparently the game doesn't won't let me. So instead, actually, um, Re Revenge of Titans is actually a fairly uh, decent game, believe it or not. 
But yeah, I'm going to use this and then I'm going to heal using some of these and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to go here and then pick up everything. Then we're going to go into here, kill this guy, uh, heal, and go back up here. Yay! Awesomeness. We're, now we're just going to continue going on. We're on the fifth floor again and I need to find that um, rage uh, rage is the um, what warriors use to use sp um, skills hi Hansel how are you uh, go right there and use rage 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 and they're all dead yay so yeah not too much left to do on this floor just need to find the uh nope rage meter fills up whenever you take damage or whenever you deal damage and it's this stupid it's this guy so nope we're not gonna be getting any drops that i don't that i already either already have or yeah this this guy i've already fought numerous times and yeah, this combination's not too good in my favor. But we killed him. We got some neat stuff. Uh, Wolfer, I've already killed him too. Um, many, many times. Uh, he's level 65. So yeah. I, not to be, um, not, not to offend you, but I highly doubt you killed him on level 17. Because he's level 60, 65. So yeah. I don't think he killed him at that low of a level. And let's see. This is a centaur level. And a mage level. So yeah. Lots of centaurs. Centaurs again. The, they drop um those gauntlets you saw. The gauntlets of raw and these scarlet robes. And yeah. So yeah. Pretty much nothing nothing interesting to say about these guys because well yeah they're kind of bland and yeah I didn't hack or he, yeah he might have hacked but I didn't I haven't hacked yet I've actually I've actually played legit up to this point level 80 almost level 81 so yeah <sighs> Oh, how much you sometimes... This game actually does make me range sometimes. They're not Enderman Babies NDTM. And you're talking like you saw my screen, my stream yesterday when I didn't even... When I never saw you in the chat. So how do you know about yesterday's stream? Makes me wonder. Ah, uh, thanks Centaur for killing him. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, we're just breezing through this. I hope I've... Oh, it's this guy again. What the hell? Stupid game. Okay, yes, the game is trolling me. Whoever left that comment previously, yes, I think it's trolling me now. This guy's going to drop some items again. His HP, um, his HP is over six... It's like uh six eight, I think it's actually I think it's something more like eight eighty. Uh, let's see what's this floor. Um no, I don't like this floor. I don't like this floor option. So go back up and then go back down. And I don't like this floor option either. Too many mages on this floor. Or uh, with this floor option. And I don't like this floor option either, so go back down. Okay, this this floor option I can handle. This is the Minotaurs again. Yeah, Hensel, yep, up and down today too. Um, the, the reason for it is we're trying to get some rare drops that you can only find in the Hidden Cove dungeon. The epic dungeon of epicness. So yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. I'm tr currently trying to get two items. The Ring of Mott and the Fire Sword. Both of which are pretty neat items. And both of which are pretty hard to obtain. The ring of... It actually took me quite a... 
Okay, yep, they do look like small. I, I agree with you, but um, right now... We're not doing too, uh, I completely lost my train. Oh, yeah. I actually did go down into the cave of, into the hidden cove, and I actually did get the ring of Kami, which was a relief, because that's one of the items that I needed down for my art, for my warrior. The other one, the other thing I actually found out is, look at this. My Crusader Shield actually adds plus one HP per attack in addition to the Kami Ring. So I'm actually getting two HP back per attack, which is actually more than normal. It's actually saving me a lot of potions that I, I just realized that. And yes, we got this guy again. So yes, this guy will be, this guy has a one in 40 chance of dropping the Ring of Mott. So we are going to be killing him to get the Ring of Mott, hopefully. No, he did not drop the ring of Mott. Game, you're trolling me again. How dare you? No, they're not copied from Minecraft Hensel. They are completely they, they might be they might be uh, copied from Minecraft, but I do not think they are. Cuz they look different and they and that stupid imp was enough to get me up to level 81, guys. 3 levels in this in the stream so far and everything. So yeah. We're up to 1,171 health. Yes. 238,624 uh, experience to the next level. <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree with you that they are inspired from Minecraft. Definitely. I definitely agree with you on that. And I hate these stupid Enderman babies. Yes, I just said Enderman babies. Because I guess they are. So yeah. There you guys there you guys go. You got me to say Enderman babies, finally. And yes, this is another centaur floor. In addition to the other type of floor it is. But these stupid ranger crap there you guys go. You saw me die on screen again. Yay! I'll show you what happens when you die. You basically, there you go. You basically just reload the floor as if nothing happened. Yep, that's it. If if I had permadeath on, my character would be gone. Right now, I would not have this character anymore. But thankfully, I do still have this character. So everything is good. And this is the Skeleton King floor. So yes, I just got careless on that last on that last uh, attempt. But now, I'm not going to be careless. I'm going to start doing this again and then healing and then doing this more yes and so many legends wolfer all of these guys are legends they have 440 hp 440 hp each and they're level 52 just do this heal if necessary do this more Um, no, I'm not getting overwhelmed, uh, NDTM. I'm actually owning them quite a lot. But yes, it's very easy to get overwhelmed in this dungeon. And we got some more drops. Yay for good drops. And some more bunches of money. And some more money. And more money, probably. Yep. So, yay. Yes, Skeleton Kings did rule... Uh, they do... They do rule something else. They rule in me killing them. Because I kill them really fast now. There are lots of pointless doors. So get used to seeing them. And I do not mean to pick this up. Uh, over here. Kill this guy. Um, NDTM. I don't know what you're talking about. Bag in a bag. But uh, this is a bag. This bag and this bag here is not a bag and a bag. This is actually a backpack. This here is the backpack. This is your item slot. Your spell book, your class skills. This is a backpack. Okay, get it. Get it. Got it. Good.
Anyways, another Skeleton King over here. Just going to use Turquoise Potions to heal up and then just own this guy. One, on it, one by itself is not a challenge. The small thing I open when I kill enemies. That is called a loot bag. That bag that drops contains the enemies. Yes, doors are can be broken. Um... No, there's never ba there's never any bags inside of the bag. NDTM. This bag here is my backpack. Okay? Seriously, just stop with that already. I'm kind of getting tired of having to explain that to you, okay? So just stop it. Yes, it's a bag. Yes, Wolfer, it's a bag. I know what you mean, Wolf, um, NDTM. This bag up here, this bag is not a bag in a bag. This is the actual loot bag that you picked up. It's not the one that's inside of the, it's not this, it's, it's, it's not a bag, In it's not another bag. It's just this bag here is the loot bag you just picked up. Sometimes when uh, you can have more, uh, just I'm not going to even bother and talk. Just not and NDTM. Just stop the conversation, please. Thank you. I'm not. I just don't want want to deal with that anymore. Okay, just stop. And yes, we get another one of these. And I'm being perfectly reasonable, okay? Um, no, it's not a visual bug. NDTM, it's not a visual bug. Just stop bringing up the bag in a bag, okay? And you stupid, emmy, mother effing, s giant scorpions don't want to drop your stupid ring of mott, okay? Since, you th since they don't want to drop it, I'm checking what their rarity is of the ring of mott. So let's see, one ring of Mott. I'm pretty sure it is one in it, this. Oh uh, yeah, I have to look up the stupid giant scorpion. Giant scorpion. One in 20. <sighs> I swear these one in 20s are just killing me. And um, this is... Wolfer, this is for you. I'm going to do this and show you how much HP they have. They're level 50 and they have 440 HP. Okay, there we go. There you guys go. Those are the... That is what I need to do. I need to get that stupid... M I just... Oh, okay, this is going to be a Minotaur floor. Wolfer, uh, what? Oh, the Dark Lord. That's it. You you said stuff uh, stuff about the Dark Lord. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'll go look him up right now. The Dark Lord I know is level sixty five, and I think he has like eight hundred eighty HP. Eight. I was dead on. Level. Oh, he's only level fifty, but eight hundred eighty HP. I was dead on. Dude, Wolfer, I called it. I called his HP right on the dot. I said 880. Yeah. Oh, this? I uh, don't have any on me, but yes. Oh, this? These aren't... <clears throat> These aren't bags. They're potions. Completely separate entities. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and kill bunches of things. Dead. Everything dead. Yeah, that's a potion. That's a potion. That's a potion. Wolfer, I know. Uh, I, you actually wanted... I know specifically asked me, Wolfer, exactly 
how much how how much HP they have. They have 880 HP because I just confirmed that you wanted to know that, so I showed you. Anyways, we're gonna go up against these green things and more green things. So yeah, just go up to here and yeah, kill more of these green things. Was it Wolfer? Because I don't know if that I don't know if you you would have been able to kill it when you were level seventeen. It would have slaughtered you at that low at that low of a level. Dusty twenty five. Hey there, how are you? Dusty, Dusty. Hey there, Dusty. Yay, Dusty's here. Hey, Dusty, you finally able to afford Legends of Yore yet, or not? Oh, what's, what's, oh, that doesn't sound very good. What's wrong? What? Um, no, you didn't, Wolfer. That's the first thing, that's the first time I've, I've ever heard you tell me how you killed him. So, yeah. Just cold. Uh, put a blanket on or something. Ooh, this is the guy, The this is the, this is the um guy that drops the ring of Kami. Just to let you know, the frost demon. He drops the ring of Kami. I know you told me you were an archer wolfer. Oh, that kind of cold, Dusty. I thought you meant you were cold as in like really cold. And that's not a frost daemon, it's a frost demon. And he's actually pretty hard. Cause look at um cause um He's hitting me for 26s. But yeah, this is a guy that drops the Ring of Kami, in case you're wondering. And he is level 65. I'm 100% positive he's level 65. And he has quite a bit of health, but I killed him. And we didn't get another Ring of Kami, but we got this, which is a Frost Claw, which I'm not going to pick up. And we got this, which I'm going to pick up, but I'm not going to pick up that. So yeah, we're going to be heading back up the stairs and back down and hopefully finding the red dragon or the giant scorpion again. And no, I'm going straight back up because I hate these floors. And this is actually a skeleton king floor. I'm pretty sure of it. No, it's not. Go back down the stairs. This is a centaur floor or it's just a random. Yay, Dusty, you'll be able to get it next Friday. When you do, um, let me know if you... um have any sort of uh, program that we could possibly do a uh, oh, oh wait you're not a, you're not a streamer so I can't ask you to do a co-stream with me darn but yeah I wouldn't mind doing a co-stream with you uh, dusty 25 if you were a streamer but um, apparently you're not yeah that's, that's too bad because I would have I wouldn't mind doing a co-stream with you of this game but yeah, um, Muffin Madness, this is Legends of Yore. So yeah. Yeah, um, it, it would, it would, it, I don't think he would be able to, um, add co-op to this game, just to tell you the honest truth. Um, it would take too much coding from his part. Uh, I really doubt that he was... Um, this is probably C++ or, actually this is coded in Java, sorry. Yeah, this is, th no, this is not coded in C++, this is coded in Java. I know for a fact it's coded in Java. Uh, you know what, you know why I know it's coded in Java? I'll show you why. Um... Once I find... Oh, yeah, it's on my desktop. Duh. Uh, minimize this. Legends of Yore. Legends of Yore. Here is the... That's pretty much everything the game runs on. This jar, dot .jar file. That's everything the game runs on. <clears throat> yes, I have Super Meat Boy. No, I cannot stream it. It's too um 
graphics intensive for my computer to be able to run it. Uh, yes, I own a lot of games because that's pretty much all that I pl uh, all that I do. Um, actually, no, that's not all that I do. I actually do uh, a lot of I do le um, LPing, otherwise known as let's playing, for YouTube. So yeah, I have to have a good I have to have a good number of games in order to do let's plays. Yeah. Anyway, just running through here, hopefully finding the legend that I need to find and yeah I'm not finding him and I'm really not liking this Muffin Madness I never said that I never said you were an idiot okay I'm not calling you one okay I'm just I'm just saying I wasn't saying it to be rude or anything I was just saying and saying it for the people who could who um didn't know what LPing was. I wasn't be just for the people that didn't know what L that what the acronym LP stood for, guys. I wasn't saying it to be uh as an insult. I was saying it for the people who didn't know what it was, okay? Just I wasn't doing doing it to I wasn't talking you guys like idiots okay sheesh don't know why you think ah uh, green dragon not the dragon I wanted to fine but uh, I don't think so I that's uh, muffin madness that is a completely uh, inappropriate and inaccurate response um, a, a, um, a, a, analogy that is completely not what I said. So just seriously. In fact, you know what, guys? I think this is enough. I've had enough of you guys.